Yo, welcome to this tutorial this today. Yesterday I'm going to teach you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. Yes, Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 for those who you know have no uh, who doesn't know how to use it, do there are different versions of Adobe Premiere Pro. There are CC, there are other upgraded version, but I want to teach you as a beginner how to use CS5 before you get to the other latest ones so now when you want to start using adobe premiere pro the first thing you do when you click and the application is open you go to your new here when you go to your new then this is where you put your title you put your title here you put for example i put video video is my title so now you click ok when you click ok then the sequence the standard uh, video type is it pal could be whatever whatever this is v avc extra the av chd you know canon whatever impact digital s LR and DV 240p then NTSC and PAL whatever whatever then you just click you leave it as sequence one you click OK so when you click OK it will open you see now it's open so now we are in Adobe Premiere Pro this is our timeline here this is our timeline this is our preview window and this is our effect here this is our source central this is you know then this is where our project video is located this is where we drop our project video so now this is our timeline remember if you don't know adobe Premiere pro has so many timelines so many timeline so many timeline you can put more than 10 to 15 video videos on the timeline so since we are starting from the beginning so now what we're going to do is to one is to import our video you can come here to import video up then you scroll from here you go import you go import when you go import you can import or you do control I you can import from there or if you don't want to do from there you just come here then you click you right click then you put import then after you put import and this is where you find you go to whatever folder that your video is let's take an example going this is a video so uh, let's take an example of this video let me pick this one put it then you put open the video will load Do you see the video the video is already in adobe premiere pro this is the video then you click the video you click the video sorry for for the interruption so when you click the video you can drag the video down to your timeline or you click like this then after clicking then you insert it into your timeline you can say insert your timeline you can click this insert your timeline for example you insert it did you see the video now the video is here so when you play you you pick your space the video start playing did you see the video start playing if if you don't want to insert it through that means let's delete it and show you another way so if you don't want to do that through that means oh i'm sorry my the system is freezing say it's not responding so now you come back here to the video aces we insert it through that but this time we are dragging it you drag it down to this place so when you drag it you see the video then you click play 
the video play so now the next thing you will do after inserting your video after inserting your video the next thing you will do is to you can drag the video to whatever position you want the video to be here you can drag it so if you drag the video to whatever position you want that is when you will decide whether you want to cut the video or you want to you want to ins and put an effect on the video for example if you want to cut it to cut the video you can you can use your control your your shortcut key control v to cut the video and if you want to return back to your cursor then you do control okay if you want to cut the video but you you use control c and if you want to return to kuso you use control v so if for example or you come up here you click your razor to cut the video so this is my razor where i click the razor then i'll come to whatever position i want to click then i'll click and cut it do you see it do you see it then you separate the video whatever thing you want but if you want to link the video back you do you do the right click then you do repo then the video goes back then if you want to put an effect you come down to this place to this place this very region then you can click whatever effect if it's audio effect you can click from there if it's transition you can click audio transition if you are you want video transition you come here so in between the videos that i just got i will put a transition to it so you see now where i cut when the when the video is playing you will not see any transition so there is no transition so you can drag your transition down to where you cut and drop it So we are waiting okay then you drag the transition down you drop it here you just see it so now let's play it again and see how it's going to be you see it. You see it. so this is how the transition comes in So, I think with this little, at least you know how to start to edit with Adobe Premiere Pro. So, at least you know how to cut a video, how where to get your effect, and if you want to get, you know, effect, video effect, you can come here to video effect, where you can get your blow, your channel blow. Your Gaussian blow adjust if you want to adjust your color you come here there is brightness contrast broadcast color change whatever whatever so I hope with this little you know you're going to learn a lot and as a beginner you're going to start using Adobe Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro. so join me in the next video as I explain more on how to edit video in Adobe Premiere Pro